guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So we know the end of the season is upon us. We obviously have one more game to play and that is in the Europa League final against Chelsea. But a video in regards to that will be coming after this particular video. So let's just talk about some transfer rumours. So of course, Arsenal have been uh, linked with a number of players already and the season's not even over for us yet. However, we've been linked with a number of players and one of the players that we've been heavily linked with in recent weeks is Ryan Fraser. So this news broke a while ago and uh, essentially I was waiting to put out a video in regards to Ryan Fraser, but it looks like the actual rumours are gaining momentum now. And uh, is he a player that would fit into Arsenal? I don't know, but in terms of his numbers last season, very, very impressive. He seems like the type of player that Unai Emery would want to deploy within his team. Extremely, extremely uh, hardworking uh, in that particular midfield area, or the wider areas if you want to call it that. But in this video, we'll be focusing on some numbers in, re in relation to Ryan Fraser and how he would possibly fit in into Unai Emery's team. So, of course, we know Ryan Fraser currently plays for Bournemouth. Uh, he's only 25 years old. He's a Scotland international as well. And last season, he had a phenomenal season. Uh, he had uh, more assists than anyone else in the Premier League, apart from Eden Hazard. So he posted 14 assists, seven goals throughout the whole season. So he's involved over role in 21 goals for Bournemouth and that's someone who plays for Bournemouth ladies and gentlemen is not playing with the best of players uh, no disrespect to Bournemouth whatsoever but he's not playing with the best players out there uh, of course in a team such as Bournemouth team he managed to post those numbers it's absolutely phenomenal and essentially it posted better numbers than any of our midfield players or our wider players last season uh, which is Quite embarrassing to say the least, uh, but of course these things do happen. A player might have a, a one season wonder where he has a phenomenal season. Uh, we've seen this countless times where players perform really, really well for one season get a transfer to a bigger club and everything just goes down the drain. So the price or the fee that's being discussed in relation to Ryan Fraser is roughly about £20 million, uh, which is fair in today's market uh, for a player who's posted such numbers. But my only main concern really here is he's got one year left on his contract. And uh, obviously Eddie Howe and Bournemouth are trying to get him to sign a new contract for him as a player. It's extremely, extremely appealing uh, to get a spot in a top six club such as Arsenal. We're now considered a top six club, not no longer a top four club. Hopefully we can get back into the Champions League and have a fantastic season next season to find ourselves back into the top four. But for now, we refer ourselves to a top six club. And for someone like Ryan Frazier, it will be a fantastic opportunity uh, for him to progress his career, of course. Uh, so to a player like Ryan Fraser, a team like Arsenal seems extremely appealing. Uh, he also had been linked with a move to Man United. Uh, but it looks like Arsenal have taken the front runner's position in terms of securing his signature. But let's just take a look at some of his numbers that he posted last season in comparison uh, to some of our midfield players, uh, in particular Mkhitaryan, Ozil, as well as Iwobi. So if we're going to look at the assists, of course, the assists are the area that Ryan uh, Fraser excelled last season. So we'll take a look at some of the numbers. And we know that he posted 14 assists last season in the Premier League. So in comparison to our players, uh, Iwobi had six assists all season, Mkhitaryan four, Ozil had two and he was averaging an assist every 226 minutes in comparison to Ozil who provided an assist every 871 minutes, Mkhitaryan every 411 minutes and Iwobi every 329 minutes based on minutes played in the Premier League. Uh, he was also a handy goal scorer too, registering seven Premier League goals every 453 minutes. Again, that's more than Mkhitaryan's six goals, Ozil's five goals as well as Iwobi's three goals goals. Out of those three players that he mentioned in terms of goals per minute, he only bettered uh, Alex Iwobi's at 658 minutes per goal. That's our, our Alex Iwobi's uh, minutes per goal. But he also had 
crucial stats in regards to key passes per 90 minutes, and that was 2.4 key passes. Uh, in comparison to Mkhitaryan, he had 1.2, as well as Yorobi, who was on 1.1. So his numbers are fairly impressive. And another area he excelled in really was pass completion. Uh, obviously, he was only bettered by Mirza Ozil out of those other three players from Arsenal that we've looked at. Mirza Ozil had 88.6% completion rate in the Premier League. Uh, Ryan Fraser had 76.9 and uh, Mkhitaryan had 79.9 and Iwobi was on 77.8. So his pass completion is up there with the three players that we were comparing him to from Arsenal. But I do believe if Unai Emery was to sanction a move for Ryan Fraser, he will make a fantastic addition to the team. He's full of running, full of energy and of course has proven last season uh, he can obviously create the chances and score the goals. So essentially he's contributed to 21 goals, which is a huge, huge number of goals. Those are numbers that you expect from a top, top level playmaker or a, uh, a very, very vital player within your team, such as Eden Hazard, who posted one more assist than Ryan Fraser. So he has fantastic numbers. Will he come to Arsenal and perform? As mentioned, I fear that one season wonder syndrome, but hopefully if Arsenal were to sanction a move, uh, he will certainly be able to justify that move by posting good numbers for us in the forthcoming season but as usual guys please to let me know what you think in the comments below if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button so once again guys it's your boy tc from i'm gonna talk tv and i'm out